Pius VII, who served from March 12, 1939 until his death on October 9, 1958, was dubbed Hitler's Pope in a 1999 book by British journalist John Cornwell, which represents the low point of opinion on the man. Even before the book, Pius VII had been criticized as being too cooperative with the Nazi regime by some, even though the Catholic Church and its leaders were persecuted by the Nazis throughout their time in power. Hitler is said to have thought his goals could only be achieved by obtaining a temporary peace with the Catholic Church, and Pius VII tempered open criticisms of the Nazis and adhered to the Vatican's official neutral status during the war. A new Italian film, Shades of Truth, attempts to rescue Pius VII's reputation by a fictionalized account of a journalist's study of records in Israel and Europe. The film's director says that the Pope's diplomatic approach may have saved as many as 800,000 Jews. The movie has been panned by both Catholics and Jews alike for playing loose with the facts, as fictionalized accounts often do. Ironically, the criticism of some Catholics for the movie is that the fictionalized scenes of the movie are likely to tarnish Pius's reputation even further. Still, Pope Francis has defended Pope Pius on grounds similar to those made in the movie, namely that Pius wanted to avoid retribution that might have befallen both Catholics and Jews in occupied countries. Instead, he worked behind the scenes to do as much as he thought he could get away with. A more equitable treatment of the subject probably remains the 2002 book Pius VII and the Holocaust, Understanding the Controversy by Jose M. Sanchez. The world may not learn the full story, though until the Vatican releases all its archives of the era, a move that seems long overdue. It sounds a lot like the story of many American families who don't want their children to receive the MMR or measles, mumps, rubella vaccines and other vaccines at times for fear that they might cause some other health problems such as autism. Only in Pakistan, the vaccine in question is the well-known and tested polio vaccine. And the fear that it engenders is not simply that of another disease, but rather fear of a Western plot to sterilize the children who receive it. Pakistan is one of the few remaining countries in the world where polio has not been eradicated. The problem is thought to stem from the fact that the Taliban was suspicious of medications supplied by Western powers and banned them in areas that it controlled. That has led to the situation where nearly all of the world's 300 or more cases of polio last year occurred in Pakistan. The Pakistani government, however, has had enough of it, and after engaging in public awareness campaigns, has sent the police to seek out those who are still refusing the drug and force the issue. They have already arrested over 400 parents based on more than 1,000 warrants administered thus far. Exacerbating the resistance among some is the acknowledged fact that Shaquille Afridi, a Pakistani doctor said to be in cooperation with the CIA, used a similar vaccination effort to help verify the location of Osama bin Laden. Afridi was sentenced to a 33-year prison sentence based on the belief, but that conviction was later overturned and he is now being tried on an unrelated charge.